This is a reading from the Notebooks by Maria Valtorta, 1943, September the 10th. Jesus says, Daughter, let us read together the last verses of Ecclesiastes. If he was the most wise, I am the wisdom of God, thus infinitely superior to him. But like him, I instruct my people. I have been instructing it for twenty centuries. I began the instruction with my word and have continued it through the word of my beloved servants. But among those instructed from my people, I have favorite disciples, for whom the master becomes more than a master, a friend. And with the wealth of a king, he opens to them the gates to acts of intimacy and revelations. I take these beloved ones by the hand and lead them with me into the innermost secrets and make them capable of receiving my word, given with a breadth which is reserved for my second John's. My little John, I entrust, I entrust my word to you. Transmit it to the masters. Let them use it for the good of creatures. It comes from the one shepherd, from the good shepherd, who has written the truth of his word with his blood. When a leader in the world or a genius of the earth entrusts to one of his faithful followers a sacred flag or a precious secret, when they convey an order or the formula of an invention, how great is the sacred respect with which that loyal person bears and transmits what has been passed on. But I am much more than a leader or a genius. I am God, the Father's word and wisdom, your Lord and Redeemer. My word does not serve only to offer an earthly good, but to give the good which does not die, eternal life. There is thus nothing more sacred and precious than my word. Receive it with your soul on its knees, and let your love be in sense, purifying your heart, which receives it, your hand which, it write, which writes it, your mouth which repeats it, and your eye which reads it. Live as an angel and a priest, for I have granted to you to hear what the angels hear and what priests repeat, and live increasingly as a victim, for it is sacrifice that opens the ears of the Spirit, and it is blood that washes the tongue which speaks of the Lord. In these days preceding the Feast of the Cross, I have an immense need for crucified souls. Please be so kind as to suffer for me. Believe in your Jesus. If I could go back on the cross for your sakes, how certainly I would. But I cannot, footnote, out of justice, see April 23rd, and amidst so much enemy blood which man sheds on earth with fratricidal hatred, my blood is lacking, which I can no longer shed from the cross for you. As I transform the species of bread and wine into the body and blood of Christ on the earth's altars, too few and too little surrounded by truly praying souls, you, my little hosts, dear victims, dear flowers of my garden, take the Redeemer's place and give me your bodies as a host of propitiation for the sins of the world. My daughter, do not seek anything more. I, too, say, along with Ecclesiastes, and what more do you want than the mission of being a little Christ in the place of your Jesus? And what do you desire that is greater than my word? God is simple. The closer you come to God, the simpler you will become. You will feel in yourself increasingly the tedium and vanity of human science, including that aimed at God, but written by man. The more God speaks to you, the more you will feel the suffering of the harsh, bitter sound of human words compared to the most sweet, supernatural tone of my word. <clears throat> Don't weary yourself with many doctrines. Don't fetter yourself with many rules. Be simple and free. Upon you may there be only the light yoke, which is not a weight, but a wing, my yoke. There is only one thing to do to come with, to me without error, the one that Ecclesiastes advises, but which I modify as follows. Love God and observe his commandments. I do not say fear, I say love. Love is much higher than fear, and is safer to reach the aim. Fear is for those still far from God, so as not to lead them astray. Like blinkers, it keeps the bestiality locked up in man from getting the upper hand at every chimerical, seductive shadow. But for those who are already close to God, to those, above all, who are in God's arms, love is what must be the guide. God will bring all of your actions to judgment, but it is natural that the actions moved by love will never be completely wicked, and such as to disgust the Lord. They will have the sign of your human limitation, but it will be covered over by the blazing banner of the love which cancels out sin and makes man's actions pleasing to the Lord. There, my daughter. While the world is full of homicidal uproar and hatred overflows from hearts, the two of us, who love one another in silence and in peace, speak of love. And there is nothing which gladdens your Jesus so much as these little Bethanies of mine, in which I am the master who takes his rest and teaches a Mary in love 
who looks at him and listens with all her love. Were you unable yesterday to write down what I told you? It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. The seed of those words is in you just the same. When I wish, I will make it germinate, and it will be even lovelier. Always be good and patient. I give you my peace.